Good morning, everybody. Good morning. And welcome back to Robin and Antal. Good morning and welcome back. We're still here. We're still in the bus. Yeah, we are still at Mazaron. We're just about to leave and head for Cabo de Gata. But the bloody sat nav won't accept anything to do with it at all. Doesn't like it. So uh, we've had that problem, but haven't we? But yeah, uh, we, we've managed to sort it. I've put sort, sort of the roundabout area and then I'll just do it on the phone on the way so yeah so we're leaving this cracking cracking beautiful isn't it beautiful park up yes which we would highly recommend where yeah. are you going where I've are you going just got these things to read out uh before I forget because I'm hopeless at remembering things at the moment Claire, it's age. <laughs> Claire Bear Sparkle so Claire and Al want a happy birthday and a new year shout out for Bella their 14 year old girl so yeah, congratulations on reaching 14. Happy birthday, Bella. Yes, I hope you're being a good teenager. I hope you're being spoiled, because I've yeah. never been spoiled in my life. And a happy new year to you all. And Denise Mannering wants to wish her husband, Alan, a very happy birthday for the 2nd of Jan, so happy belated birthday. Uh, and she also wants to say she loves you very, very much and you are her soulmate. Oh, bless you. Yeah, so uh, as we pull out of here, if we go the right way, we'll do a bit of filming, just leaving, and then we'll catch you up on the next destination. Or if there's anything to film on the way down, we'll flick the camera on. And you are you're looking very really pretty very... today. Shut up, Robert. You know, I was going to say, you're being very <coughs> serious, aren't you? More always serious. It's still poorly. Still... Yeah, she's still been snivelling. Oh. Snivelling all night. Take... Bloody nightmare. Taking cold and flu tablets in bed early. I hope we can stop up tonight as it's New Year's Eve. Probably not. Probably not. We'll we'll probably be in bed for nine. Snoggy. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. we'll crack on people. Yes. You we'll can't go. whack being on the road in the bus. No. Can you turn it off because I'm going to sneeze? Okay, go on then. Go on. Sneeze. Go on. <laughs> Watch the windscreen. <laughs> <coughs> so. It's our last views of this beautiful area. Stunning morning. What's it called? Man Mazaron. 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 Yeah. There it is, look. On that sign there. M-A-Z-A-R-R-O-N. Absolutely fantastic place. Loved every second of it. At roundabout, take second exit. Wish we could have stayed here for a little bit longer. Now remember to go around the right ways. Yes, on the island. Yes, Robert. Because I made a bit of a boo-boo yesterday. He actually did, but we were on the scooters. He and was... there was nobody about. No, he was moaning at me about something, and he said, oh, just follow me. So then he went the wrong way around the island on the scooter. <laughs> and he told me not to say anything, but things he's brought it up, what a complete and utter knob. Unbelievable. It's not like me to make a mistake, people. So I went around the proper way, and... I'm not following him. Like I said on the other vlog, no sense of direction whatsoever. No, but that's how easy it happens, you know, because occasionally you do forget yourself. You know what I mean? It's so easy to, I do thing, to do things the wrong way. I didn't. Bloody hell. Right, let's crack on. Now, I know I keep banging on about the scenery, but we've been driving there for about half an hour, and it's just amazing. The one thing we have noticed, I mean, it is very arid here, uh, but there's no animals, there's no livestock. Is a bit past that we were, we were saying it earlier. You know why that is, my little angel? Because there's no grass. Exactly. Yeah, and we were saying it earlier, and I was just about to put the camera on and talk about that. But, hang on, let me turn the camera on. Uh, yeah, I was just about to put the camera on say there's no animals and we went past the field of goats and one horse but that that's about it you never see livestock and like I said before there's a factory and then some little haciendas they what you keep talking bloody mumbo jumbo for I think these little houses or whatever are called haciendas I think might be wrong. no they're called little houses Shut up, in layman's terms but <coughs> it's so beautiful we were just on, like me we also were saying you could spend the rest of your life Castles. just exploring France and Spain. Yeah, I think you can pick it up because the sun's quite bright. But there's two castles on the 
hill up there. Uh, and we're just go, going to enter another tunnel. Oh yeah. Up the there. tunnel of love. Oh, shut up, proper cheap tart. <laughs> so I don't know where we're heading. Uh, oh, there's a beach not far away. How pretty is it? Going through the tunnel, that's the best way, as I've said before, to go through mountains. Rather than keep going over them, but to go through them. And these are well lit, it's the only part of bloody France and Spain that are lit the other tunnels. That's a fact. Yeah. Pretty good. And there we go, out on the other side. I don't think we're anywhere near the coast now. I think we've come quite inland. There's light at the end of the tunnel, people. There always is. Oh, that's a bit bright. So we're going towards Lorca and Aguil, Aguil, whatever it is. Aguil yeah, we're going towards somewhere in Spain. You reckon? More scenery, but I have to capture it because it's absolutely amazing. Get to go. An absolute beautiful drive. We are still uh, 35 minutes away from our destination. It's uh, absolutely lovely, isn't it? Just like me. I should have picked the camera up before, really, but uh, yeah, you're always a bit slow, isn't it? I know, but I was just admiring the scenery for me, and then I thought, oh, I better I can film this because it's, it's lovely. I don't know, I'm still doing it, but look at this, it's absolutely beautiful. And like you said, Robert, it is a lot like driving through Scotland. Just so, so pretty. Never thought Spain would be like this. The only places in Spain that like, I've seen are the commercial areas. You know, you go on a plane, land somewhere and go. But this is the best possible way in the world to see Spain. In a motorhome. In a motorhome, without a shadow of a doubt. Absolutely beautiful. The dog just uh, decided to run out in front of us. Oh, what the hell? I know. It's the first time that's happened, a bit scary. Luckily you saw him crossing the road while I was filming. Yeah, not good. He's okay. Goes on to live another day. He He's wasn't... got a bit of a limp by looks Yeah, he was Let's limping. See. I hope he hasn't been hit before. But you, you see a lot of uh, stray cats over here, but... Never... Not many dogs. No, not many dogs. So again, Which is a good thing. Just again, if you can see in front and to the sides, it is just miles upon miles of protected crops. Yeah, we think they're grapes, aren't they? I don't know what they are, we haven't been close enough. I'd say they were grapes anyway. Little shunty villages things. You know what the old saying is, don't you? take second exit. Look after your grapes and your grapes will look after you. That's your broom. Oh. Look after your broom. <laughs> Good. I've only fools and horses. Anybody seen that? Uh, no, I bet nobody's seen that. I bet everybody, no, you're the only person in the world who's seen that. Bloody oh, hell. Oh, it's all right. Bloody hell, folks, it's going to be one of them days. It's always one of them days. Unbelievable. Yeah, so uh, we are still, let's have a look, oh, we're only 22 exit, minutes away. I hope exit. we're not going to be under a plastic bag. Because <laughs> that's all that you can see around here. Apparently it's a very, very pretty site, very secluded, but there's bars and restaurants and a 10 minute drive to the town. So however long that'll take us on scooters. Not all, the, all the e-bikes. Oh yeah, we've got the bikes too. So we'll see. But we'll get there, folks. It will. Even oh. if I've got to put a lid on my shoulders. No, that's not going to happen, is it? Because I'll break your back. Very true. <laughs> no need to agree, was there? Actually, you have lost a lot of weight. I have. I'm happy with that. Not yep. off a butt, though. At roundabout. Never going to lose it off that. Exit. Last place to, to lose it from. So that's where we are. Campo Hermosa. Campo Hermosa. Lots of beautiful poinsettia plants around it. One plant I can never keep alive. It's a good job you can keep me alive. Oh, that's not hard, is it? Just keep feeding you. Keep feeding me. It's a 
Hast du die Last Zombie geguckt? Ähm. Uh, <laughs> a, mo a month before we left England? I can't honestly remember the last time I cooked. I am going to do chicken fajitas tonight. Yeah, uh, right. Because I've got the chicken out, and if he's not eating tonight, he's going to have to throw it away. Matter of this hump. Yeah, we'll get rather big speed humps. Yeah, because this, uh, because oh. our bus is so low, it's we have got to be so careful. Yeah, I just want to show them just the locals just sitting around. Looks a bit deprived. Is it? I don't know. They're, I don't know. Just keep the camera on a bit and show you. Go on, get the back end over up there. Just check my map as well onto that one. Recenter. Just talk amongst yourselves. Yeah, first exit on the island, so we're still okay. I'm having to put my phone on. Take first exit. Because I said, as I said before, on the sat nav, he just will not recognise the address of the campsite where we're going. Even though we updated it. Uh... Yeah. It just doesn't like little roads, so I put it into the into the sat nav, and then onto my phone as well, because I can actually take the directions off it. Because I'm good like that. Yeah, right. And maybe six we're stopping. Can't believe you left the bloody bike lock on the north I side. I didn't. That's you. One job. One job. And we haven't passed a decathlon, have we? To go and get one. But we are back with uh, Steve and Susie, so we, we can always clamp them all together with theirs. We'll sort it somehow. Uh, can I go or not? Oh, yeah. just, well, you are going anyway, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, I don't know where we are exactly, but another little. Well, I'd say Spanish this. Town. This is the town we've got to uh, bike into. At roundabout, Maybe. take fourth exit. Oh, there's a pharmacy up there in case I need some more cold and flu tablets. All you need, all you need for a cold is eat an onion. Oh, shut up, proper cheap tart. It's supposed to work. It's really not. So later, I'll peel, peel you an onion. Oh, I've only got two and I need those for the, and you wouldn't know how to peel an onion. Of course, I would know how to peel a bloody onion. This is what you've got to watch when you go around islands as well. Little, little buggers coming up beside you. And the speed humps. It looks very pretty here, doesn't it? Not as pretty as you, my little angel. Just a bit. And one thing I will say, when you're going to standing at a crossing, I don't know if it's mandatory over here, but you know when you're in the UK, nobody stops. Everybody just slams the brakes on, don't they, for the pedestrian crossings. Yeah, and while you're talking about that, can I just say about the, uh, the traffic lights? Oh, yeah. At roundabout, it's, uh, they, they've got red and green, no amber. Yeah. So sometimes, they go from red straight to green. Sometimes they have got amber, but it's only got... No, red. No, sometimes they've got red and just amber, and the amber flashes, and there's no green. Yeah, yeah. So, it's, uh, I don't know, you just... You just, you know, because we're it, used to obviously driving in, in England, yeah. it's just a bit of a shock to the system, if you know what I mean, when you approach traffic lights. Yeah. And they just go, red, green, straight away. <laughs> no. We are... 15, I just thought I'd tell you that, people. 15 kilometres away, though. Um, Bloody warm, I know that. 18 degrees. Well, it was 20 earlier. <laughs> yeah, and look more of this bloody white sheeting. I hope I'm not going to be in the mid middle of them. I mean, look at it. Not the prettiest of places, is it? Well, they've got to earn a living, haven't they? So, where could you say that's going to be the place that we'll bike into when it's fifth, we're still 15 kilometres away? Oh, I don't know. Unbelievable. I've been here before. Told you, no sense of direction whatsoever. I don't know why I bother people. I don't know why I bother speaking. I'd love to know what's under all these tarpaulins, though. The white sheets. I've told you what's under those. Grapes. You can't definitely. see. Yes, you can. No, you can't. And there's... Could be going to cannabis, but there's all tubes going it's, into uh, It's going to be grapes. Why? Because I've just seen a wine bottle chucked on the white side of the road. Shut up, Robert. I don't know what it is. I'd say they're great. They look like vines. You probably can't see as well as we can through the uh, the mesh. But yeah, it's not very pretty, is it? But they've got to earn a living, and if the white sheeting is protecting their crops, then 
so be it. And that is our first view of La Negra. Probably spelt, pronounced it wrong, but yeah, it looks absolutely beautiful out here. Don't know what the campsite yet, though, people. I'm not, I'm not holding out too much hope because they had lots of space, but then again, it is so far out the way of what, you know, where we've been before. Arriving at destination on right. Okay, so it's not far away. The only thing that's worrying me is, it's Christ, uh, New Year's Eve and we managed to get in here easily. Yeah, that's but what I mean. All other places are absolutely rammed. Yeah, but like I've just said, we are well out the way of uh, normal civilization. And here we are camping. We camp Cabo de Gata. It looks beautiful on there anyway. Somebody obviously doesn't like it up here because they're parked on the road. The cheapest way of doing it, isn't it? Yeah, well, there's another one there, look. One there. And one there. He looks like he's been well drying his towels. So they need to wash him before they dry them. Well, he looks like he's been there a while. He does. There's uh, trees going out his sunroof. <laughs> Road's a bit bumpy, isn't it? of old caravans down there, look. They are old, aren't they? There's a strap holding one down. Children playing on their courts. Small vans part yeah. there. One, two, three, four, five. Just doing a bit of off-grid camping. Yeah. Let's have a look at this for a view again. The little bar down there, I oh, will be in there later. No, you won't. I knew you were going to say that. And now we've got a bit of a climb up. It is a climb. It is a climb, isn't it? And the road's a bit. Uh... Oh, the road's a bit dodgy as well, people. Yeah. You are the scooters though, come down in the middle of the road. Oh yeah, perfect for uh, e-bikes and scooters. There's something in the sea down there, I missed it. Something in the sea? Yes. What was it, a dolphin? Or a mermaid? Oh, it's a rock. We need to get excited about it. <laughs> you have to watch you don't kill anybody with dogs. Enjoying a hike. Rather high up, aren't we? We should drop down, I think, again to a little cove. Uh, we're going the right bloody way, I know that. How yeah, pretty is it? Who's here again? I'm screwed if we've got to turn around. And just a bit. This is, uh, oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this at all. Nothing coming up the other way. So what happens if there is? Oh, uh, like there is. What happens if there's another van or something? I don't know, but he's going to have to join. I don't know what he wants us to do. I mean, we can't back up. Hang on. I, well, we've had to back up because, well, I really don't know what this car's thinking it's doing, but we can't go any further. Get over there, mate. Thank you. A bit logical, isn't it? And there's a van coming as well. Now we're all doomed, so I'll have to let the car out first. They so say this is a, the trickiest road we've come across so far. Can we get past the van, Robert? Well, I could get a bloody bus past there. I don't know what's going on. And then somehow we've got to let this bus, this van past in front, so you're going to have to back up again. What is up with him? Hello. 
The joys of motorhoming, people. The joys of motorhoming. Yeah, this is very tight, though, isn't it? And we're literally on oh, we're on the edge of the. Uh... Oh, something you can drive. Thanks. I'll tell you something, people. It's a good job they put their hand up then. <laughs> <laughs> right, can we just go before we hit something else coming the other way? Bloody hell. Oh dear me. So you've got to do a three point turn to get round this road by the look of this. I know one thing. <laughs> I'm cracking off early from here. Get it round. Whack it round, Rob. You get the it. back end out. <laughs> This road was not made for motorhomes, was it? It was made for little boxy cars. But what a view. Our little beach there, look. And now I know why there's plenty of room on the side. What, because it's a mission to get to? How, how do they get on if there's another motorhome coming down? I'd, well, somebody would have had to back up, wouldn't they? And we couldn't, they'd have had, well, I don't know. I, I really don't know, but it, we didn't, it didn't happen. Just cross your fingers, it doesn't happen on the way out. Yeah, we've got to just go straight on. It's very pretty now we're here. So I'll, uh, It's yeah. a good job on the stick, that's all I can say. Yeah, I've well, had to back in there a few times. There you go, we camp. We can. And there's a cube. Yeah, there is. So I'll uh, turn it off for now and show you when we are parked up and... Pitched. What? Yeah, pitched. Happy with that. Happy with that, people. Happy. Well, people, we've managed to park up. This is the pitch. I've got to show you this. So we've parked there. Not very long. But they said it's fine, absolutely fine. And then all this is ours. We've also got electric. We've only literally just pulled up. So just electric behind there, two pin. Oh yeah, let me just remind you about that. If you ever come to Spain, don't forget your two pin for the electric points. Because most of them we've been on. I've got the two pin. Okay, the two pin connector, don't forget that. But it's a great side. I'll show you a bit of it now. Beautiful backdrop. So far, so good. And Lynn's just looking to see how much the size is. 49 euros, 13 pence. So it's about 45 pound again. Yeah, for two is, nights with electric. Yeah, and a beautiful view. And I think we've got a signal, so I might be able to upload a vlog. Yeah, but a, a park up's cheaper. If you can see on the map, I mean, that's how big it is. Yeah. That's the beach that we showed you when we came in. Yeah. Yeah, we'll explore and uh, later on or tomorrow. Yeah, I'm looking very really pretty though. Shut up, Robert. Okay. I'll crack on my chores, shall I? What chores have you actually got? I mean, I set the whole van up. Who drove you? What's that got to do with the price of being? Domestic, domestic, again. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's cracking tight though, to be honest. And I, we thought we'd treat ourselves and uh, come on this side because it is New Year's Eve and you've got to keep the old bird happy. <laughs> well, I have. Good morning everybody and happy new year. Uh, Lynn's just getting ready so I've got three hours to uh, you know find something to do. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's about eight o'clock so the sun's just rising. It's a bit cloudy today so I don't think you're going to see a lot but I've just come to the top of the hill. You saw the drive on the way down so I've come to the highest point just to show you the view. Check this out. Absolutely beautiful. Stunning place. I'll show you as much as I can. Oh. 
and I don't know if this camera can pick it up but there's something down there big in the water I don't know what it is yes I do it's a bloody rock <laughs> yeah but it's uh, it's such a great sight to be honest the backdrop all the scenery just amazing love it absolutely love it I just, uh, I've just come down the bottom now. I'll just show you around the sides a little bit more while I'm waiting for Lynn to get ready. Uh, yeah, so you've got the cracking swimming pool. I don't think it's heated. It's just the backdrop, it's just everything's perfect about the side. The sun lounges. Beautiful. And then you come out the swimming pool. Walk through these gates here. See, everywhere you look. Stunning place. The only problem is the access is uh, pretty tight to be honest. If there's another motorhome coming, coming the other way down that hill where you saw the drive in, you're going to be in trouble. Yeah, and you come, come from the swimming pool and you've got this lovely seating area and a restaurant and a bar there. Bloody expensive, mind you. <laughs> we had a point in there yesterday, we only had one drink come out. Bloody expensive. When well, you're going to pay it on a site, aren't you? I suppose. On a holiday resort, which this is. Yeah. And then you carry on walking down here. Well, I presume it takes you onto the beach. Not too sure, but it probably does. Oh, and you've also got uh, showers there for when you come off the beach, which is good. Get down here. Beautiful place. And it takes you straight on to the beach. Yeah. Perfect, beautiful spot, beautiful sight. Yeah. Loving it at the moment, people. Loving it. There's no better way than spending New Year's Day in a place like this. Bang on. This is one of those places I must get the drone up because I think the footage will be pretty good. Actually, I think it'll be bang on. I'll also mention uh, on site you've got these cracking safari lodges, which I presume you can hire out. Don't know how much they are, probably a fortune, but there you go. <laughs> there you go. No cooler though. I don't know what I like inside. I think there's somebody in that one. Yeah. Perfect, perfect place to spend your holiday. The facility block, which is just round the corner from our uh, where we pitched, it's pretty good to be honest. I'm going to try and get in. 
hope there's nobody in there. Be where Rob's coming. Yeah. There's me. Hey. Look at the size of this. Sinks. Mirrors. I don't know. Oh, I think that's uh, that one there is for washing me down. <laughs> oh, I think it's for a baby, is it? Is it? Maybe. Uh, yeah, I'm going Toilets. There's a shower zone. Yeah, massive showers. Massive mirror there. Pretty good people. This place is set up pretty good. You haven't got to walk far to anything if you know what I mean. Oh, tell a lie. The Elson Point's about 300 metres away. So what I've done, I've actually put the uh, toilet cassette on the scooter. Put me one foot against it and my other foot on the back obviously and emptied it that way and it worked out pretty well to be honest limb was flapping a bit because you thought i'd uh, you know it'd fall off and i'd break it but it didn't happen all was good got outside sinks there yeah it's perfect perfect place and the space they give you is amazing i mean all that there is that van's pitch? Pretty good. And this is where we are just round here. As I showed you yesterday. Steve and Susie are next to us. Yeah. Bit of bad driving been going on there. <laughs> yeah, but you've got all that. And a bit of shade there. So, I dare say it gets bloody hot in the summer here. What it's going to be in it really is going to get hot here. Perfect. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. We've uh, absolutely thoroughly enjoyed the drive here, haven't we? Yeah, we really have done, and we hope you do too. Yeah, so I know it's been a bit of a driving one, like I just said, but. And the dog's off. Hang on, I'll go and get her. Let's go to get Mavis. She'll be back in a minute, bless her. Come here. Here she is, look. She's been outside while we've been in, in the van editing. The world's most travelled chihuahua. Yeah, so uh, like Lynn said, we hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's been a bit of a driving one, but uh, yeah. we enjoyed it and we hope you do too. So yeah, later on we're going to explore the town and that'll be on the next vlog. Yeah. So stay safe for the caravan as motor homes tend to drift on you. That's come out all wrong. Start again. Cut. Cut. Go on. Oh, okay. Stay safe for the caravan as motor homes tend to drift as subscribers are old and new. We still love you. We do. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you on the next one. In a bit.